Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I have one more project um, video share for you guys from scrapdiva.com. So for this particular project, um, I worked with the Baby Girl Mini, <laughs> which you can see I didn't poke out all the, the little uh, parts uh, that are at the bottom because they do come out. So let me just jump right in and show you guys what I made. Again, you can use my coupon code, which is NAT10. Save yourself 10% on your order. Of course, check the description box below, and I will leave uh, the information used in this video in the description box. And feel free to leave me a comment uh, if you have any questions or if you just want to leave a comment. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm using this again because I think it's like absolutely perfect for pictures. Let me tilt this down just a little bit. Um, it's perfect for showing your um, projects on video. So this is the first thing that I made, which I'm just gonna prop it up right here. Absolutely love this. There are so many options that you can do with this um, Baby Girl Mini. You don't have to necessarily make a mini book, but you can. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple things that I made today. So I decided to do this cute little banner, which I am so loving. Let me bring it a little closer so you can see it a little bit better. So love this. Um, and I made it on a banner piece. And what I was trying to create was that it's hanging from a clothesline, which I absolutely love. This is the Echo Park Wildflower, I think is the name of the paper. And I just thought it was so pretty to use for this project. Love the colors. So, of course, I always use foam on everything. So I did add some foam underneath. Um, and then I layered it with this really pretty like mustardy yellow color. And then I used this beautiful floral um, paper um, for the uh, top of the dress. And I love how the, the, the sleeves are dimensional. So it has like score lines in two different places. So it makes the, the dress look like it has ruffled sleeves. Love that. Um, this is some of the word dyes that come with, um, they don't come with it, but they are sold separately. Um, I think you can buy it as a bundle. Um, but you, there's tons of different words that are available. And then I use this really pretty gingham uh, paper uh, at the back there um, that is from Wildflower. And just loving that. And I used gold paper clips and I added a cute little butterfly right there. Um, and I added some pearl accents on the side just to give it a little something. And if you can see that, one of the word darts, I did um, use it with gold, um, gold paper. Um, to kind of match the, the gold uh, clothespins that I use. And this, of course, is just, um, you guys know what it's called, twine. <laughs> and then in the center there, I just hold on these cute little buttons that uh, Bona, who is Live Love Scrap, made for me. And I just added that in the center of the bow. The bow is also up on some foam tape just to give that dimension as well, if you can see that. Um, so just super fun and you can just hang a little like I could hang a little bit more twine there You can just hang it on your wall or if you're gonna give it gift it to someone who is actually, you know Expecting a baby um, that would be a perfect thing a little wall hanging um, To put up maybe in the baby's room. That'd be awesome. So that's the first project that I did I'll scooch that over and then the second one that I did I wanted to go ahead and make a card so I did have to kind of maneuver it <laughs> um, to, to make it into a card. So when I ran it through my die cutting machine, the, the base layer, um, I just didn't cut it all the way. Um, so um, I just left a little bit of space at the top of the die, um, which allowed me to layer it. Um, I did layer extra paper on the back um, and Again, there's foam here as well. Um, and then I, I took another dress and I cut off the ruffle trim and I added that at the bottom. Um, this is from the collection. This is a simple vintage Berry Fields, which is so pretty. 
And the same thing that's here is the same paper that you see for the bow, which again, that's up on foam tape as well. I added this beautiful flower that I purchased from uh, Cuddle Me Clay over on Instagram. And this is a foam sticker that creates that. But I'm just loving that. Um, I'll probably just put a little die. I mean, I could probably write over that, but maybe I'll just put like a little die cut in there to write the letter. But see, that's how I did it. I, I didn't cut all the way to the top of the die. So it allowed me to have it still stay connected um, is what I did. If you guys want a tutorial on that, I'd be happy to share how I created it. Um, or maybe I'll just do a tutorial. We'll see. So um, loving this. So cute. And then you can gift it to somebody and it stands up and it's amazing. And this die seriously is only like a few pieces. Super fast. Just pick out some really beautiful paper and you can go to town. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Again, coupon code is NAT10. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can find me at sassyblingyme31. And I will see you guys soon and have a great uh, Monday coming up. Talk to you soon. Bye.